Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to be basically demonstrating and showing off Siri running on my iPad 2. As you can see, this is my iPad 2. It is jailbroken on iOS 5.0.1. As you can see, 5.0.1 right there. And I'll also open up Cydia here to show you guys that it is freshly jailbroken and it is fully compatible. So now on to the main point of the video, Siri running on here. So I'm going to be showing you that it is fully functional, so that it can do everything the iPhone 4S can do, and more. So the two Cydia tweaks I'm going to be showing you with this video as well are Open Siri and Siri toggles. So first I'm just going to be showing you that it is fully functional. Hi. Hello. Let's go ahead and ask us something else. What's 2 plus 2 divided by 17? check that for you. This might answer your question. So, I'll just ask you one more thing. Are there any good restaurants near me? I don't know where you are, but you can help me find out. Alright, so I don't have location, location services, services enabled, settings. but I'll Turn get that later on. <laughs> but anyways, okay, stop, okay. Um, the next thing I want to be showing you is Open Siri, and this is just a basically allows you to open third-party applications, so I'm just going to be starting with stock applications, so... Open settings. Sometimes when it first launches an application, it'll just sit on this screen right here in, on your home screen and it won't do anything until you hold Siri again and then you have to ask it a question or something like that. So um, hopefully they get this better ported to the um, iPad. So this tweak, as you can see, it's not meant for the iPad, but anyways, it still works um, a little bit. Open videos. So now it should work good from here. It'll just open your applications and whatnot like that. So let's go ahead and open a third-party application from, let's just open up Cydia. Open Cydia. Launching Cydia. So here we go. Let's go ahead and open an application from the App Store. Launch Twitter. You can also use launch and open interchangeably when you're talking, and it did not get that. So let's try this again. Launch Twitter. Alright, so as you can see, what I was saying earlier, you can use launch and open interchangeably. So if you want to say open an application or launch an application, it takes that as basically the same thing, so you don't have to worry about that. So now the Siri toggles I'm going to be showing you, this allows you to basically enable Wi Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode easily from Siri. So enable Wi Fi. And it should tell me that it's already enabled here. Wi-Fi is already enabled. All right, so we'll go ahead and disable that. Disable Wi-Fi. Disabling Wi-Fi. So just I as easy as that. About this, but I can't take and any now I totally right forgot now. that Please Wi-Fi is off, so Siri is or Siri is not going to work. So as you can see here, Siri is fully functional on my iPad 2. It also works with a few tweaks from Cydia. So. Basically, uh, Siri is fully functional and it, it can be fully ported to the iPad 2. It does not have the greatest GUI, so I'll show you guys that in just a second here. Why did I just turn that on? I wanted to turn on Wi-Fi. Oh man, as you can see, I don't use my iPad a lot. <laughs> but anyways, as you can see, it looks good here, but then when you ask it something like, Hello? This screen right here, it does not look that appealing to a user or somebody using the device. It just looks very bland, and I'm hoping somebody can uh, theme this so it looks nice on the iPad just as well as it looks on the um, iPhone 4S or the iPhone 4 or even the iPod Touch 4G if you've got it ported to those. So this is basically it for this video, guys. If you guys like my videos, remember to hit the subscribe button right up top there. Definitely appreciate you guys subscribing. Definitely helps me out. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions. I'll be giving out some Siri proxies so you guys will be able to use Siri on your iPad 2 if you want or your iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 4, anything like that. So stay tuned for my future videos and basically just check out my other videos if you guys want. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.